Hello good people, my name is June Mothoni and I'm finally here. Most of you have been asking me, I knew a letter, I knew a letter. So the show is about mental health, uh, depression, um, bipolar and everything and you know, mental health, health problems. So today I'm going to share my story and um, uh, the reason why na leta imamba mental health niju pia mimi I've gone through a lot in my life so I had to share and najua uh, most of you mkishawot issue mta mtataka ku ku share pia zenu depression ile ni shika time Nilikuwa mdogo actually I didn't know I didn't know nilikuwa na depression so I used to go to school unapata at some point I'm dull at some point mm, si concentrate kwa class because pia mama alikuwa tuna mashida zake tu and then my sister as well hakuwa poa and then my brother yote alikuwa shule so tulikuwa tu wawili and we had to fight for her because alikuwa na fightiwa sana unajua watu kwa ploti how they are so me ndasema we, we were strong pillars before my sister passed on um nikamaliza primary and then i went to high school life ikakuwa tough zaidi but we thank god because uh nilisoma nikamaliza and um sasa hiyo time ya high school ndio mama ligonjeka aka pass 2016 she passed on ju alikuwa alikuwa too sick and then my sister later on after nimaliza form 4 she passed on sasa politika ni gonga proper rejection isolation hakuna msi anaweza kuambia anything sasa hiyo time ndio nikakuwa kama street kid nilikuwa naenda kwa watu unapata umsi hataki kukuweka unapata umsi mwingine hataki kukuweka and uh, at some point ilibidi tu nikaitu na maudi at some point nilikuwa udi but kwa kupenda but ilini shape to who I am today because I understand them and understand macho ko shule wase wadharau uko nje and uh, life ikan gonga na ivasha nikaka hakuna mtu ananitaka kwake unafukuzo unatusiwa nilikuwa trolled at some point facebook unatusiwa unaambiwa wewe ni wewe ni street urchin i think that name ai nikaka nikafikire i have to move out from there and at least nione kama naweza progress and then nikakuja Nairobi hata sikuwa na fear actually <laughs> uh, nika meet a good samaritan akani help kuka Nairobi nikaka kwa best yangu mm akani host for some time but akwa ile willing yenye nasema she was ready kusaidia mtu alikuwa nani at some point ananiambia niende naenda naenda tuna pata tuna mse na muzakane za dose yeah postaf kabisa so kwa hiyo uh, kwa hiyo harakati nikamit uh, a good friend alikuwa actress then nikamwambia anaweza taka kwa actress akanitumia post post ya mabingwa then nikaenda auditions nikapita poa nikaanza kwa set books sasa hiyo ndio jani yangu ya acting ilianzia then nikiwa bado mabingwa siku anaweza ku concentrate kwa even though lines nilikuwa nashika but si sana um, at some point nikalemewa siku na nguvu siku ataweza kutembea at some point because nilikuwa nimeisha kabisa you can imagine how, how i'm looking right now say your time nilikuwa i was nilikuwa worse than this so the, the, the director called me akaniambia you, you need to take a break when they heal kwanza and then you'll come back later so what wenye nilikuwa nao walisha progress walenda waka set books wakaenda kwa mashule mimi ndio huyu nimeachwa nyuma um so nilikuwa nisha meet my guy kitambo ah uh, nikaenda nikamwambia shida yangu hiyo time atakuwa tunaishi naye because hiyo time pia yakuwa me akwa me stabilize sana akaniambia it's okay tunaweza ishi tu sasa hapo ndo tukaanza kuishi naye akaanza kuni akaanza kuni akaanza kuni take care alikuwa ananipeleka usi everything yeye alikuwa anafanya kila kitu mimi hiyo time sina job sina anything 
nikapata ball hapo and thank god nilipata ball because i needed someone in my life jo nilikuwa rejected sasa kumbe nikiwa na ball siko najua ati ukiwa na ball depression inaweza kugonga ukiwa na ball hadi mtu hadi uwezi kula so mtu huyu pia alikuwa affected kabisa so hiyo period ya pregnancy the first months hizo tukiendelea tu uh, hakuna mtu alikuwa na reach out actually nilikuwa tu na na katuna na stay tu na yeye because he was my he was my he was my pillar cha tuniseme hivyo uh, because hata kama tulikuwa tuna ma kulikuwa tuna issues but he was my pillar he was my strong pillar nikajifungua then from that ndio nikakuja kujua later kumbe nilikuwa affected kabisa mind hadi nikaanza kwenda madhare madhare hospital um nikatreatiwa for some time ndio nikamwona nilikuwa na bipolar before ni heal it took time it took time kabisa because at some point nilikuwa najipata niko violent at some point nilikuwa najipata niko nime nimefurahi at some point niko violent and and no na risk hapa ni niko na mtu mdogo and i have someone in the house as well my husband it was tough but it was tough but i thank god alini let him see akani akani mental and then from that sir uh, there was a day nika nikaenda nikaenda nikatembea kwa streets nikikumbuka season kuna mtu wangu ni mdogo ndio nikafikiria si acha nianzishe this show at least people can speak out unajua kuna wengi kwa society sasa hii wanaogopa ku speak out maybe because ya society wanaogopa ku speak out maybe because of the situation that they are in so mean a me show mostly ni kusaidia watu wako na shida ya nini mental health yani acha tuniseme hivyo depression all that kwanza it's bad na unajua mental health ni mbaya because you can't you can't control why na control you you can never control yourself because i've been there so me nataka tu uh, I, i need to educate people i need to reach out to so many families so if you're there and you want to share your story kindly reach out to me uh, nitaeka namba yangu hapo chini my email so we can fight this thing let's fight mental health kabisa wacha watu wa heal because unajua shida zinakujanga marriages unapata msee ni orphan unapata msee maybe ame grow environment yako ipata love we need to love each other wacha tupendane because love is everything hata hata nini kwa babu imeandika love is everything god is love mbona sisi wenye tusipendane mbona tusi reach out twende tu tu twende tu badilishe hiyo mindset ya watu wa society wache kuona ni kama wache kuona ni kama this thing is not there so i'm urging you kindly reach out to me i need to help some people here i need to help people because me i've been there so i know that pain na jua pain yako rejected na jua pain yako isolated i was born and raised in naivasha na nikasema yuko nikamaliza and everything was tough because my mom she was a single mom and alikuwa anafanya kwa flower farms uh hiyo time ilikuwa inajitasha agencies ika change and then ikaenda karuturi right now i don't know sijui 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 i don't know the name but bado ni karuturi mimi i know na najua um so by then ilikuwa inaitwa karuturi so vile tuli tulitoka hiyo place tukaenda a place called sanctuary so sanctuary ndio hiyo time i was in high school nilikuwa high school nilikuwa tu naivasha iko far from home sana but ilikuwa distance so i remember there was a time nikiwa shule uh, niliambwa niende home and unajua kwa shule uko na hiyo anxiety what's happening is everything okay so hiyo time nikienda home ndio nikapata mom alikuwa msik alikuwa bedridden alikuwa ashaenda hospitali but alikuwa sharudishwa so time nilifika nilipata ako tu hapo helplessly hakuna mse anamsaidia so i had to take that role because yani I loved my mom and I still love her hata kama yuko and uh, alikuwa she used to tell me one day ni kama alikuwa najua she used to tell me like June you need to work hard 
unastyle work hard because you may never know kama nitaishi forever and when i saw her nikakumbuka hizo words ikani 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 yani ile ni disturb for some time so we took her to hospital aka akatibiwa by then ilikuwa 20 2016 years before ali before her pass so um tukampeleka usi i went back to school and then on that dinini that december that december ni kanane kaka na hospital hospital inaitwa ilikuwa inaitwa oh goodness ilikuwa tu naivasha ilikuwa na jita home grown yeah something like that so tukaka na mama hospital akiwa tu hivyo msiku for a period of one month then she passed on sapo apo yani nilikuwa tu na feel dunia tu crack yani everything like kila kitu ili simama yani nilikuwa naona ni kama like siku kwa naamini nilikuwa naona ni kama she will come back yani my world was crushed kabisa my world crashed and then una imagine my sister pia yeye ako hapo and uh, pia at some point alikuwa ameshikwa na depression because of mom jende alikuwa anaka na mom jo alikuwa ame drop out college ya school fees pesa zote zilikuwa ziende sasa mom kumtibu um she passed on sasa me have to be there for my sister as well hata kama ni mkubwa kuniliko i need to take care of her jupe yako week and i i understand her so well dear to yani acha tunseme well dear to crash after some time tukaenda tukabari mom tuliachwa yani hapo sandio rejection ilianzia i don't want to go in details kwa hiyo ya rejection but tulikuwa rejected tukakuwa isolated kabisa kabisa hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka story yetu so hapo ni mimi nijipange sasa hizo sijamaliza form 4 saa kurudi nikamwacha uh, nikamwacha home then i told my friend kuna niangalia sister yangu because hapo tulikuwa na kibanda <coughs> kibanda sasa ndiye alikuwa ngana alikuwa na nini alikuwa na work hapo na bado at the same time analipa rent so my friend alikuwa anamsaidia so nikaenda shule hakuna mtu alikuwa anakuja kuniona shule by the way sasa hizo una imagine uja heal uh, people will never understand your pain only god knows that pain maybe mtu ameshakwa kwa hiyo situation ame lose maybe someone in life ndiye ata ndiye ata understand so um nikamaliza form 4 but it was tough it was tough yani nilikuwa ngatu na kashule hadi watu wanashindwa is this lady okay yani ni yule unalia mpaka watu wanashindwa la kwa ni ude makwaji unajua watu wanadhani najifanya but it was ilikuwa imeni hit kabisa 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 and uh, i remember um hiyo time ya prayer day someone else came mwenye sifa wa family and my sister yani hiyo hiyo siku ndio nilikuwa sister yangu nikamwambia niko na prayer day i remember she came kama tumemaliza but i was so happy because alikuja at least nilimuona but hiyo time alikuwa amesha kabisa juu ya depression and all that so um nika understand and nika mwambie it's, it's well and i remember she prayed for me akaniambia tapita um then she went i remember hata nikifanya exams i was sick at peace hata nikifanya hizo exams um because ma yani msik ako na depression i don't know kitu anakula at least me shule unajua nilikuwa nakula at least yo food ya shule nilikuwa na appreciate but i didn't know what she was eating so ilikuwa inabidi niende nipige simu kwa ofisi ni uliza is she okay is she okay hadi kafika place walimu wakakataa kwanza yo time ya exam period kcsa nikamaliza hiyo siku ya kumaliza kumbe aliko usi alikuwa amelemewa mpaka kashikwa na cerebral palsy ya depression na stroke so mimi ndio nimemaliza high school um nimemaliza high school Nimemaliza the high school and then um <laughs> mm. 
nimemaliza high school my sister she's on ako usi and i remember yeah peke yake ndio nilikuwa na count on so um nimemaliza high school ndio nikitoka shule hakuna mtu alinikuja so hata ni my i called my friend nikamwambia kuje she came um akanichukua then akani akanipeleka mpaka kwa stage yote hata i remember sikuwa na fair na imagine nimemaliza shule then kufika home kwa nyumba napata imefungwa so nikapigwa na family members nikamwambia june you need to go to maybe pgh ile anax uh, tukakana e for some time alikuwa msika hata kwa anaweza kutembea kwa anaweza kuongea tukakana e for a month pia so your time una imagine una kamidi una bado jahili mam and at the same time your sister is so sick kumbe yeye alichukua na depression akarudi akashikwa na stroke me didn't know nilijulia usi so ndio ma daktari wanze kukimzana na mimi ndio hiyo bill iko usi uzrael kwa na nhif but niliambiwa tuna need kuongezea do so ni watu wa familia wa chipin um i remember she used to ask me nataka kwa anaweza kuongea hapo alikuwa anaanza am i a burden to you nikamwambia no you my sister so hapo hata kama nil, nilikuwa natoka naenda kulilia nje ndio ni sasa ni quest strong pila wake asione ni kama pia mimi nime lose hope na yeye nilikuwa tulikuwa tunafanya na therapy watu at some point walikuwa wanakuja some point they walk over na come Uh, unfortunately akapason pia aka yani she ali, ali she fought a good fight acha tunisema hivyo because alikuwa na safa but she was strong pia for me she was trying my best to make me happy i'm going to try my best to make me happy and uh, lalipa son sasa hapo ndio sasa mishili ni gonga kabisa nilikuwa naona ni kama i'm no one in this life juu sasa hizo watu wenye wako close na wewe wote wameenda sasa hapo ndio solution sasa inaanza yani rejection i mean hadi nilikuwa nashindwa kuomba yani tukamnini akaziko but the memories are, are still fresh so upon your deep nini acha tuniseme hapo sa depression ni kaligonga times 2 nilikuwa nasikia kizunguzungu ndio the whole world is again still um nikatoka home sa hapo ni ile watu hakuna uh, mtu anachipin na mimi hata ni juli hali i remember used to te, nilikuwa na text wa say hakuna mtu alikuwa na respond mm. so there was this family at least walinisaidia for some time but ikafika place walikuwa wananitumia vibaya walikuwa sawa wananitumia kama mboch walikuwa nataka ni kwa maid wao yani there were so many in the house so many nilikuwa kama maid uh, i remember there was a time nilikuwa tunatembea nilikuwa nimeboeka uh, bisti yangu hata sisi mkumbuka jina She, he came akanembe jun kuna job at least akoshosha tu viombo kwa hoteli unaweza ndio jishikilie because uko place uko au uko au uko pwanda uko safe because they were using me the fa- yo like that period nilishuko for like four months sikuwa na peace sikuwa naomba totally yani nilikuwa tu nilikuwa tu stagnant acha nisemwe because sikuwa na songa yani maisha yangu ilikuwa miserable kabisa then bila nilipata hiyo job at least nikaenda nikamwambia mama huyu wa hiyo nyumba yako ana shida watu wake ndio walikuwa na shida so nikaenda gani kaenda interview na nikapita kupita so the next day nikaingia sasa hata sina nguo nguo zangu zote zilivaliwa hata siku hata na nguo so i remember nilenda nikaomba one of the ladies akanaanglisha vibaya but akanipatia nguo nikaenda job fika job nikamwambia wewe uwezi fanya kazi ya kosha viombo because you're presentable so tutakupatia kazi ya kazi ya tutakutrain kazi ya u nini uh, waitress and hapo sasa ndio nikafunzwa nikatrainiwa vile nitakuwa na beba nini hizo masahani na vikombe vile nitakuwa naenda 
nitakuwa na hospitality kwa watu I remember so nilikuwa tu naomba ngongo hivyo nikienda job asubuhi mimi ndio 6 na mkanaosha nilikuwa na mka 5:30 actually nilikuwa na mka 5:30 naosha naosha wa save yombo naosha nyumba na nyumba ni kubwa tu bedroom hiyo time naona jua tu wanaishi na ibasha tu bedroom na wasi wamejiweza ni sasa watoto ni wengi kwa nyumba uh, so I remember there was a time nilikuwa tu nimezoea asubuhi siku nyo chai nilikuwa naenda kunywa chai ni ni job there was a time sasa nikawaambia I want to move out uh, kwa hiyo nyumba wa karibu ni gonge sasa hapo ndio wakaanza kuni troll wakini tusi wakini stigmatize wakiniambia sijui eti vile mimi ni offer niliwachwa that's why nimepata tu kazi nimeanza kuringa hiyo time nilikuwa nalipwa 12k na 12k hiyo time ilikuwa do mingi sana uh, wakaanza kuni, kuni stigmatize wakiniambia sijui eti vile wazazi wangu walikufa ati pia mimi nitaf, nitafuata the same nini the same line and i told god you're my stronghold fight for me this one hadi wakaanza kunitusi facebook niki post picha uh, wana comment wakinitusi wanaambia watu vile mimi ni mbaya vile mimi ni hypocrite sasa vile nilitoka hapo it's so unfortunate um, kurudi job uh, kumbe walienda wakanichomea job wakasema sijui tu vile mimi ni mbaya sijui tu vile si staili kufanya hiyo job because one of the ladies hapo alikuwa amefanya hospitality so akachukuliwa huko akanichomea so because mimi singe kana yeye i had to move out so kutoka hapo then hata sikuwa nimelipwa actually uh, nikaambe oh boss anipatie hata kama ni half because nilikuwa nimefanya for like a month na unajua ukiingia hoteli lazima wako monitor waone vile unawaka nikatoka kutoka then hapo kutoka kwa hiyo nyumba sinikana nika rent kwangu then i used to live with a friend mwenye pia hiyo time kwa na job so nilikuwa nafanya vibarua then juu hizo vitu za mam zote zilikuwa zangu so nilikuwa na kila kitu kwa nyumba nilikuwa nimerent ka single but kubwa um tukakana hapo for some time then one day mimi nilikuwa nimetoka nikapata alikuwa amechukua vitu zangu nikamuza where my things akaniambia sije ti amepatia biste yake ati ju because june says una job unaenda uishi kwa shosho yangu ah uh, nini mimi nikiishi na best yangu for some time for some time nikamwambia no i have to go with my things akasema ni sawa nikaenda nazo kwa shosho yake eh the life pia hapo life ikakuwa tough nikatoka hapo hiyo ni the hapo ni place ya pili kuishi kwa mseju yote mimi nilikuwa nilishi kwangu for a month pia hapo hata sikukuwa na jela wasi kukuwa nime settle kuishi kwa shosho yake nika feel no acha tu nitoke okay. um, kutoka hapo tena so nikatoka bila vitu zangu i had to go nikamwambia aniweke vitu zangu nitazikujia later so hapo hivyo nilikuwa naenda huko napata at some point get imefungwa na siezi bisha so si kama siezi bisha mimi nilikuwa naenda nilikuwa naenda kulala na mabiste zangu alikuwa maudi juu pia mimi time already nilikuwa nishakuwa hudi because of the life that i used to live so nilikuwa na jaribu kuruta after love from some people juu nilikuwa na jua maudi ni wale wase they are very ordinary yani ni watu tu wa simple and they loved me by the way walikuwa nani appreciate sana um tukaka now for some time so unajua your place na kaa ni ni nini place your place ni to karagita uragi sit kwa naita uragi your time so nilikuwa ngana ka nao Imagine unaenda unaka kwa nyumba ya matope. Sizo wase wanavuta bangi. Na sizo ja kule anything. So me because niko na stress zangu pia mimi navuta nao. Sasa hizo ni maboy karibu kumi na mdemu mmoja ama wawili. The good thing walikuwa na ni respect walikuwa na ni penda because walikuwa na ni tamutasi so walikuwa na tasis. So they loved me kabisa juu walikuwa na jua situation yangu. So kumbe watu ile familia kwanza yenye nilikuwa naishi bado walikuwa wananipiga vita kabisa walikuwa hadi wanaenda wananichomea huko bado wanasema achana na udem yani au kwa wanataka kuniona na mtu wanasema achana na udem so i mean iko na life itakuwa hard kabisa but uzuri yao maudi yani walinipenda sisi watajaji na but mnajua mke watch issue you know yourself na nawapenda sana mpaka sasa hizi na god awazidi kwa bless So um from hapo nikona eh hey, hii life hapana
jo at some point tulikuwa tunashikwa na makarawa na kuja kwa hiyo nyumba wanatushika mimi nilikuwa nimeshikwa kama mara mbili hivi unashikwa una unatupa ndani but sasa karawa na kuhurumia because mimi nilikuwa naambia mimi sina place ya kwenda that's why i'm living with them unaachiliwa maybe hata sasa kwa tuna 200 unapea na hiyo 200 ndio ulikuwa kule ndio ulikuwa sasa hata una place ya kuoga ndio can imagine ama girl sasa demoja nika decide nikaambia au manini au ma bro au maudi nikawaambia jupia mimi nilikuwa udi nikamwambia mimi acha tu niende because hapa mimi naona ni kama napigwa vita sana wakakataa mara ya kwanza nikamwambia pana acha ni tu niende then wakaniambia june take your time fanya hivi enda kwanza ushago ukae na shusho yako then uta uta nini siku nye, enda kwanza ustabilize heal kwanza alafu utarudi you can imagine wananiambia ni heal because wameona so nika nikasema acha kwanza niende kwa shusho yangu kwa shusho yangu nikakaa for like nilika 2 months hakuna job ushagu sasa utaenda wapi job hakuna maybe na time iko kwa time ya ku ya ku nini mindi ya ku what is that hiyo jina ni kogeva si trust manga hiyo hiyo <laughs> time so hakukuwa na job mimi nikaona i because na kapa na kuna kitu nafanya let me go back to naivasha i had this friend another friend ah uh, akaniambia ni shi alikuwa anaitwa Kelly akaniambia nikamcall nikamwambia mimi na need nika tulikuwa tunasoma naye pamoja but alikuwa mbele yangu high school akaniambia June kujoke kwa shusho yangu for some time ni shusho mwingine si ule mwingine Kelly shusho ya Kelly akaniambia June kuja uishi kwetu for some time hapo nilitreatwa vizuri and i always thank god for you guys mlinishikilia mlinipenda but mi Yaani sikukuwa na feel comfortable nikikaa kama sana na kuna kitu nafanya. Hapo nikakaa for three weeks then uh, nika ndio nikaambia Kelly mimi acha niende Nairobi at least niende nitafute hata kama ni kazi. Akanizo kuna place ya kuka nikamwambia eh but your time sikuwa sure. Nilikuwa naenda kwa Ubiste yangu na nilikuwa nime mention mara ya kwanza. So akaniambia it's okay wewe ukifika just tell me but nda kupatia tu fair ya kutoka hapo mpaka hata ujusi na do so ile mambo alinipatia fair kutoka kwa muhea joel kwa nishikwa muhea mpaka tau ilikuwa eta bob yes so from hapo mimi nimefika tau ni saa moja ni kwa strand na unajua naivasha by saa tatu gari zina kuanga gari za kwenda nairobi hakuna so there is this guy akakuja kanza you okay unaenda wapi nikamwambia nenda Nairobi akaniambia ingia kwa gari na kulipia yani alikuwa tu god send na mimi ni nani akambi it's okay akanilipia time ilikuwa 250 na kakuja mpaka Nairobi Nairobi sana ni I called that friend of mine na toka kana for some time so kana for some time um si nikatoka kwake because nilikuwa naona pia po situation na iko sawa like acha tu niseme generally like since someone is a tegemea sana uh, mtu usii put your trust in someone sana because ataku disappoint uh kuja kuishi na for some time uh, i had this friend akani text akanambia june unaweza pata opportunity mabingwa akanitumia post yao vile alikuwa na recruit wa see sasa nikaenda auditions nikapita uh nikaanza ku act now but bado sikukua sikukua poa yani juu sikukua ni stabilize akili unaishi kwa mse ujui au na do na unajua uh, mkenda rehearsal so amlipwi hapo tu mnaenda tu ku ku rehearse ndio perfect or not you doing so nikaenda nika 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 kana for some time nikaona acha pia tena nijitoe nilijitoa tu mimi mwenyewe CT juu nini na hapo nilikuwa already nishamit na my guy before tulikuwa tume meet na yeye before nikiwa tu naivasha um nikamcall nikamwambia Uh, uh, sina place ya kustay sasa hizi kama naweza ni host for some time akaniambia kuna shida but hiyo time pia yako kwa stabilize so mimi um yani nilikuwa tu 50 50 i used to go kwake na toka na jiambia pana sitaki kukabata akaniambia june kuja tuishi na wewe baby mimi niko serious but mimi mind yangu haiko imesettle juu nilikuwa nilikuwa na vitu mob yani um tukaanza tukaanza kuishi na yeye nikakuita uh, nikakuita mabingwa because niliambiwa na director wetu June kwanza give yourself break 
tuende uh, kwanza u heal because you're not okay unashika yes lines but you're not hauna hiyo energy yani and uh, miss kusikia vibaya but walikuwa di wanakam walikuwa di wanakam wananiuza niko aje wanakama di please niko sometime najua sasa singewapeleka please nilikuwa naishi singewapeleka please nilikuwa naishi so what i did kwa meeting na wataoni kawaambia everything i remember wakanichangia ga pesa and nikaenda ga madha nikapata fee ya kwenda madhare then kwa na madhare ndio nika nika attendio na dr jumba psychiatrist hiyo time akaniambia june uko na shida maybe you might be having bipolar wacha tuanze treatment mapema so kwa hiyo rakati nikapata ball so kupata ball uh, nika kwa sasa affected zaidi juu i'm new sijui anything kusum to we sijawahi pata ball in my life so i was like ina ni hit ilikuwa ina ni hit differently so hapo ni postmortem depression ikanishika nikiwa mabingwa sikuwa na energy na pia nilikuwa mu emotional sana because nilikuwa nimelack love na nilikuwa violent at some point nilikuwa naambiwa kitu na jam hadi nataka ku fight na mtu so alafu nilikuwa pia na nilikuwa na furai nil, at some point ninge over ninge kwa overjoyed maybe ni kiact poor na kwa overjoyed kabisa ndio namba juni you not okay so the nani director kanitaka niambia june you need to go you, you need help enda go kwa enda kwanza u heal then because you are a great actor actress i mean utarudi um then si mimi nikaenda siku feel vibaya because ukiambiwa wewe ni a great actress of course you are mimi na jamini i am um your time i went uh, nikana nikajifikiria then uh, tulikuwa tusha meet na um, my friend uh, nilikuwa nime meet asa, nini many people but sasa nilikuwa nime wa categorize kwa friendship na wengine ni my sister so she, so she was my sister um akanirifa akanirifa kwa dr jumba akaniambia june ena madhare ah uh, unini utibiwe because you, you need help jupe at some point nilikuwa dina nilikuwa dina muangalisha vibaya na niambia june you not okay the good thing ya kuwa ini alikuwa ananipenda because we met in a church to see to limit church na end tuka kwa mabiste yeah so akanirifa kwa dr jumba Dr. Juma can take care vizuri hadi akaniandika hadi akanitafutia ni psychologist sasa. Yeah. So hiyo time nikiwa na nikiwa na ball kwanza I had to take a break. Nikana nikajifungua then I went back. So bila nilirudi sasa ndio nikaambwa nikaambwa nianze sasa medication of which siku 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 tumizo madawa but nilikuwa naenda counseling sessions. Um nilikuwa naenda I remember Tuesdays on Tuesdays nilikuwa naenda na ongeleshwa na filamu ke nilikuwa nafanywa therapies nilikuwa nikitembeza at some point tuna travel hadi na psychologist mimi nili heal um, after a tough journey nili come up stronger than i thought yani nilikuja ni yani nili yani hizo manini zote zilini shaped who i am today Say so I'm someone else, I'm transformed. Um na that's why na na create awareness to you guys. Uh I need to reach out to you. Um uh I need to get people who can speak who can speak their story when you never feel too comfortable to share their own story waseme bila wali get your depression you know unaona history yangu ni ya ku impact ni ya ku impact ni people's life like wa feel ni kama wasi feel ni kama wako rejected wa feel ni kama wako loved because mimi na feel ni ni vile watu yani mental health inakuja na nini lack of love kama vile mimi ni nili lack like love in my life so mimi na create awareness ya people should reach out what to reach out come on i feel you're not okay you reach out akuna mtu yes stigma stigmatization niko but once you speak about it trust you me you love come it you love come it so reach out to me share your story nitaika namba yangu hapa chini then tuta tuta air your story 